we, we make judgments in foreign policy based on what we think are our long-term interests and what is good for the world. I, I think that's a bit of a misrepresentation. You are, you, that's your judgment. I'm a diplomat. It is my job to, to uh, conduct foreign policy which serves my uh, national interests. And Um, but you and Prime Minister Modi have already said that regularly call on both sides to stop the war and to negotiate. However, can one really urge Ukraine to stop defending itself? After all, there are no Ukrainian tanks in Russia. There are Russian tanks and planes and missiles destroying Ukraine. I, I think that's a bit of a misrepresentation. Uh, I think what we do is to say, get back to dialogue and diplomacy. There was dialogue and diplomacy in the early days of the conflict. So it's not that it didn't happen. So it's not for us to put conditions and to say this country is equal to that country. You are, you, that's your judgment. But should you urge Russia to stop the war? I, I think we have been very clear that this conflict is not in anybody's interest, including this. But you wouldn't say it more explicitly? I'm a diplomat. It is my job to, to uh, conduct foreign policy which serves my uh, national interests and which serves what I believe is a long-term pathway towards uh, peace and uh, dialogue. Let's talk about India's interests. India does not take part in Western sanctions against Russia, but has increased its imports from Russia uh, five times since the war began. Uh, by this, are you not helping Moscow? Are you not financing Russia's war? You know, Europe imported in the same period six times the energy which India did. If it is a matter of principle, why didn't Europe cut on the first day? Why didn't we see on 25th of February a complete cutoff of energy imports from Russia? But you, can't say, you can't say it's my principle, but by the way, I will do it by my timing.